Hey, Pastor Steve Walter here with another Bible review. Today we've got one from 1989, a Thomas Nelson Genuine Leather Reference Bible in Burgundy. It's the 2006 series. That's the number, not the year it was made. Man, it is high quality. I remember selling these things. They're printed in Korea. And they retailed for $39.95. Now, back in the day, this has the thumb indexing. And we may do a review on different types of thumb indexing, but whether the ones that stick out or the ones that are in. But it, uh, they were always $5 more. Now, thumb indexing is traditionally $10 more now. Back in the day, it was $5 more for thumb indexing. So this would have been a $44.95 Bible. You can pick them up really in expensive places. And uh, great quality, genuine leather. Nelson's always been known, at least in those days, for their genuine leather. Has the gold edging, it's gilt edge, not, uh, not art gilt, doesn't have the salmon underneath. Oh, beautiful burgundy ribbon marker there, just really nice. And uh, just a good Bible. I'm going to tell you one of the things I liked most about this Bible is the consistency of the print. Even better than a Cambridge Bible. It is just the darkness of the print is consistent. And probably because the plates are a lot younger than the Cambridge Bible. That Cameo plate dates from the 20s. I know they've tried to update it some recently. I think they've succeeded. But uh, just a reference Bible. Excellent print, excellent readability. Get to the New Testament, show you uh, the red lettering. It's kind of a unique, deep red lettering. So that's kind of uh, different about this Bible. I like it. It's very readable. Now, as far as the pages, I don't think this is uh, probably India paper. It feels a little too thick. The size is fantastic. Another thing I liked about these old Nelson Bibles is they kind of imitated the Zondervan. Zondervan always had the book introductions, and this has the book introductions as well. And it has the uh, headers, the paragraph headers in the text. Let's see if we can get to a page that may have a few more than those. I thought it had the paragraph headers in the text. Well, I see it at the top of the uh, different chapters anyhow, like a chapter header. And you can see rather voluminous uh, cellular column references. There's some with the headers in text and also references in text as well for parallel references. You can just tell, really good size print. And in the back, it's got very good, clear concordance. Probably seven point type, but extremely clear. Now, whether this Bible has any ghosting or not, let's look at that. Not really. They use thick enough paper. It doesn't look like it has that much ghosting. So uh, the consistency of the print. And then at the very back, it's going to have the traditional, just your basic Nelson map section. It does have the gold over here. So I, I really like this Bible. I'm going to do a little comparison here with my Cambridge text-only Bible, which is a mid-sized Bible. And you can see that it's quite a bit smaller, quite a bit thinner. I would guess it's about eight by five and three quarters. And so it's just a real handy sized Bible. And again, back in the day, they were just making excellent quality Bibles. Thomas Nelson went through a period, it seemed, uh, they'd gone through different periods throughout their history, but like in the 60s, 70s, 80s, early 90s, just something about those Bibles, just excellent quality. So if you ever run across one of these genuine leather, you can get them really expensive. Now think about this. It came out in 1989, $44.95 retail. You fast forward 27 years, that's probably a hundred dollar retail. But yet the price of Bibles, a used Bible like this, is actually going down. 
So you can get some great deals, you know, $80, $100 Bible, something like that, $120 Bible. You can probably pick them up $10 to $20 online uh, fairly regularly. And again, it is genuine leather. It's not the soft, supple leather. The American companies uh, traditionally just use kind of, you know, kind of a tough American leather, you know, that kind of thing. So again, just excellent gold edging has all the indexing. If you go to buy something on eBay, you can email them, ask questions, get you a good leather conditioner. That's a lifetime Bible right there. God bless you.